On December 14th, 2021, one of the leading taxi companies in Paris, France, known as G7, suspended its use of all Tesla Model 3 cars in its fleet following a fatal accident involving a Model 3. The deputy chief executive of G7, Jan Recordel, stated that an off-duty taxi driver was traveling to a restaurant with his family when the deadly accident took place. So stay tuned and don't go away because Tesla defends the Model 3 taxi after the fatal accident in Paris. First up, what happened during this deadly collision? Let's take a look. All we know so far is that one person was killed instantly, while roughly 20 others were injured, with seven of those people listed in serious condition. According to French media news outlets, the Model 3 hit a cyclist, three pedestrians, and then crashed into a van seriously injuring seven people. The G7 company immediately issued a statement saying it would suspend the use of 37 Tesla Model 3 cars in its fleet until French police have had the opportunity to complete their investigation into the case. According to Rick Cordell, when he spoke with Tesla, the company said an initial inquiry had ruled out any technical dis- functions or abnormalities of the vehicle. Rick Cordell said that the driver of the Model 3 tried to brake, but the car accelerated instead. At this time, it isn't clear if the car was traveling in autopilot mode. Jerome Comet, the mayor of Paris's 13th arrondissement, took to Twitter and said, the first elements of the investigation indicated that the accelerator would have gotten stuck. Rick Cordell was quick to add, today we have two divergent views on the subject. We will maintain the suspension of the Tesla Model 3 while the investigation is ongoing as a safety measure for our drivers, customers, and other road users. Next up, doesn't Tesla collect data on these types of things? Let's find out. Indeed it does. Tesla routinely collects detailed data from the various sensors and cameras throughout its vehicles and frequently uses the data to challenge claims that accidents are caused by technological malfunctions. Rick Cordell assured that all Tesla Model 3 owners in its fleet would be fully compensated for any lost earnings as a result of the suspension and said the company is looking for alternatives so that the drivers can resume driving for G7 sooner rather than later. Rick Cordell said that G7 is in contact with the government as it awaits the outcome of the investigation by French police services. G7 is actually one of Paris's most well-known taxi companies and has more than 9,000 affiliated drivers who are classified as independent operators who own their vehicles. At least half of the company's fleet uses electric or hybrid vehicles, and the company's goal is to have a 100% green fleet by 2027. Tesla has been quick to defend the Model 3 and told the French government there is no indication that a fatal accident in Paris involving a Tesla Model 3 taxi was caused by a technical malfunction. The driver of the Paris crash is now under formal criminal investigation for manslaughter. According to French law, a formal investigation means that there is serious or consistent evidence to implicate a suspect in a crime. Up next, how reliable is the data that Tesla collects from its vehicles? Let's have a look. Tesla's data collection programs are known for being nearly flawless. Data collection is a key aspect of Tesla's daily operations. A French government spokesman, Gabriel Attal, told reporters, we have been in contact, of course, with Tesla's management, and they tell us there is no technical problem to flag on their vehicles. The formal investigation of the driver means that authorities are one step closer to a trial. However, formal investigations can be dropped at any time. The French government is still waiting for the outcome of the judicial investigation. Many Parisians, however, are still in shock days after the accident. Witnesses said the Model 3 plowed through metal posts, a row of pay-to-ride bicycles, recycling bins full of glass, hit pedestrians, and a van before finally coming to a stop. Interestingly enough, American auto safety regulators have have sent teams to review 31 Tesla crashes involving more than 10 deaths since 2016 when it is suspected that advanced driver assistance systems have been used. Tilar Diomande, a bartender in a nearby restaurant, was servicing customers from behind a bar when he saw the incident take place. Tilar said, I thought it was an attack. There was glass, dust. It was as if there had been a blast. The Model 3 was stopped at a red traffic light when it suddenly sped forward and hit and dragged a cyclist who subsequently died. The police immediately tested the driver for alcohol and the test proved to be negative. It'll be interesting to find out if the vehicle was operating in Tesla's autopilot mode, which is able to perform self-driving tasks. Stay tuned and don't go away, because we're bringing you the latest news on the controversy surrounding Tesla's autonomous Model 3. Next up, what can French investigators learn from the data collected by Tesla in this case? Transport Minister Jean-Baptiste Jabari claims that he spoke with the chief executive of Tesla Europe, who assured him there had been no safety alerts about the Model 3. Tesla's chief executive in Europe assured Jabari that all relevant technical data would be submitted to investigators. Tesla, which is a pioneer in the electric and self-driving vehicle revolution, has a market value of almost $1 trillion. Tesla founder Elon Musk has continuously defended the company's autopilot systems, and back in April of 2021, he tweeted, Tesla, with autopilot engaged, now approaches 10 times lower chance of accident than average vehicles. At the same time, however, Tesla advises all drivers to keep their hands on the steering wheel and pay attention while traveling in autopilot mode. In 2020, the National 
National Highway Traffic Safety Administration of the United States opened a formal review into more than 200 complaints that were filed about sudden acceleration of Tesla vehicles, but regulators confirmed that they found no defects in Tesla's autopilot systems and said the accidents were caused by pedal misapplication. Similarly, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration said that its teams have reviewed more than 30 Tesla crashes involving at least 10 deaths since 2016, where it was suspected that advanced driver autonomous assistance systems had been used and autopilot was ruled out in only three of those crashes. This seems to be at odds with what Musk is saying about the reliability of Tesla's autonomous systems. It's likely that there are still a few kinks that need to be worked out. Up next, we're looking at another company that loves pushing the limits and boundaries of modern technology. What's happening with Blue Origin? You're about to find out. When you're worth north of $200 million, what's the big deal spending $28 million for a first-class ticket to space? No big deal, right? Well, for Justin Sun, the founder of Tron, it's certainly no big deal. Sun placed a winning $28 million bid for a seat on Blue Origin's inaugural New Shepard rocket. The funds went to Blue Origin's foundation, Club for the Future. For Sun, the opportunity is somewhat historic, as the Grenadian native will be the first Grenadian ever to travel to outer space. So, cool. As some of you may know, Blue Origin was founded by billionaire Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, whose vision is a future of millions of people living and working in space for the benefit of Earth and humankind. Blue Origin completed its first successful human flight on July 20th, 2021, and safely returned from suborbital space, just above what is known as the Karman Line, which is the internationally recognized border of space. Once you cross the Karman Line, you're officially in space. Leading up to his trip to space, Sun decided to launch the Sea of Stars campaign to signify that Earth is where the chapter of human life begins for future generations and not where it ends. Sun will now have to nominate five exceptional women and men to travel with him on his space trip, but who he'll bring with him has yet to be announced. Next up, what did Sun have to say about booking a first-class trip to space? Let's take a look. In a recent interview, Sun spoke excitedly about his upcoming trek into the vastness of space and explained why he graciously donated $28 million to the Club for the Future initiative. Sun had this to say, with the rapid development of commercial aerospace, entering space may become a dream that every person can realize in his or her lifetime. We are entering the era of great space flight. This great journey requires more people to get involved. The initiative of Blue Origin to take more people to space to see Earth as our singular common home is extraordinary. Club for the Future offers a way to use that experience to inspire youth around the world to dream and act on their dreams of science, technology, and space exploration. I felt compelled to help further that vision through my bid. Finally, what does everyone's favorite space voyager, William Shatner, a.k.a. Captain James T. Kirk, have to say about venturing into space on a Blue Origin rocket? The legendary Star Trek actor said, Everybody in the world needs to do this. Everybody in the world needs to see, he said. To see the blue color went by, and now you're staring into blackness. That's the thing. The covering of blue, this sheath, this blanket, this comforter of blue that we have around, we say, oh, that's blue sky. And then suddenly, you shoot through it all, and you're looking into blackness, into black ugliness. I was terrified. And that's a wrap for today's video. Thanks for watching.